Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We're here for a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, what is happening here? You've got a lot of cards. I'm not going to take these, but we see that it looks like you're being very quiet. You're waiting for an offer from someone. We get that you want a new beginning. You want a lot of passion with them, but you're taking kind of a wait and see attitude. All right, so I'm going to keep shuffling here. Sagittarius in love, please clear messages for our Sagittarius friends. I do answer comments. I would love it if you would leave a comment telling me where you're watching the video from because I used to travel internationally and I want to go around the world and meet some of my subscribers in the near future. Okay, so the energy at the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. So you're making plans. Sag, you know, you want an offer. We saw that Page of Pentacles and that sort of pre-shuffle. So the energy that you're bringing in is the Queen of Swords, being very determined to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It is Libra energy. You are very serious about what you want. You know what you want. You won't stand for anything less than what you want. You're very discerning. We have Ace of Wands. We saw that also in the pre-shuffle. So we get the Ace of Wands as the energy of great passion, fun, flirting, a new beginning, looking forward to something, an adventure of some sort. The Fool card. We have the energy of you wanting a new beginning. We do see in the Fool card the energy, though, that beneath the surface, there could be, there is a hidden dragon. So, you know, whenever we take a risk, a risk is there's always a hidden dragon. But we see a beautiful opportunity here. What I'm saying to you that I'm seeing is that you're going to look beneath the surface. You're not going to make any assumptions with this Queen of Swords that when you take the leap of faith that, you know, that you're going to pay very close attention to all of the signs, subtle and otherwise, because you are looking for a very honest person in your life with whom has, you know, shares your value system. Oh, nice energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini Virgo. A magician card, your person wants to manifest you. They feel a really magical attraction. I always see this as the chemistry or the magic between two people, but it also means that you have all of the tools. Your person is bringing in all the tools that they have uh, to manifest you. That is, they're looking for a person who's intellectually a match, who's passionately a match, who's emotionally a match, and who's as grounded as they are. The Sun card, oh my gosh, we have Leo energy. Your person sees you as the person with whom they've enjoyed the greatest amount of happiness. They're looking at this from a higher perspective. They're looking at this and taking a very long range view of what can be in this relationship and they're very excited about it. They've never had a relationship like this. The Sun card as a professional reader is one of the most important cards that I find is necessary to the success of a long term committed relationship or just the pure happiness of any relationship is benefited by the sun and the reason is is that it's the essence of who you are and so your person feels as though two of you the two of you are very obviously being who you are living in the moment and they feel very happy about what they see as a relationship that could bring them the happiest and the most joyful time in their life and connection the queen of cups cancerian energy so your person is someone who is very loving, very nurturing. They're very motherly. Their language of love is to do nice things, to, to show emotions, to be supportive of yours. Uh, someone who lives in their heart space. Somebody who's very honest with who they are. They know who they are. They could be a little bit emotional at times, but they're very sentimental. It's a lovely energy. So let's look and see what spirit has to say about this relationship. What's the overall energy? Spirit, what can you share with us, with us at this time? Okay, we have purification. I like this. Pine spirit. 
purifying your energy. It looks as though both of you have done some healing. You know, you're, this is not your first rodeo. So you're, you're both looking for something that's very pure, very innocent, very honest, very grounded. But your person really sees you as their person, Sag. Sag, I don't know that if you know this, but Sagittarius is known as the Bachelor Bachelorette of the Zodiac. All right, but you guys like connection. Lots of Sages are married very happily. We have power. This relationship has a power to go the distance. Dragon energy. There's an inner light in this relationship. Both of you are very protective. You know how fire-breathing dragons? <laughs> you both have the power to manifest this relationship, and you both have the power to breathe fire on any situation, person, place, or thing that could, tr that could try to get in the way of the relationship. Manifesting dreams. Well, I don't even know what else I can say about that. Here you are. Your person's manifesting you. You're in the energy of being very open to it as long as they're very straightforward and honest with you. All right, so let's take a look and see what the outcome is, energy is. And then we're just going to clarify, not much. This, we're going to clarify the Fool card because we have a dragon here. We're going to clarify the Queen of Swords. So let's see here. What do we have here for your outcome at this time, short term in this relationship? We have, ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay. Well, that is a big surprise. There's your dragon, <laughs> Sag. Seven of Swords is an energy that both of you, the outcome is somebody who is being sneaky. The energy of the Seven of Swords is that, you know, I'm going to say this in a very, uh, a, a more practical way. It's a sneaky energy that says you're both sort of checking each other out. You're trying to see, you might do a people finder search. You might try to find out if this person's ever been uh, bankrupted. You might try to find out if they're living with someone else. You might try to find out if they're, you know, being honest with you. I see Sagittarius that might be more your energy, but not necessarily because the magician card is also the energy that says that your person will use all their tools, intellectual as well. So both of you are fearful. I would say when I get the Seven of Swords energy, both of you are very fearful of being burned, of being hurt. So you are, I would say you're spying on each other. You could even drive by one another's homes or just really going the distance to find out so that you don't get taken advantage of. Now... I don't see anything here in your individual energies that indicates a bad energy or bad intent, okay? I just feel that it's a very self-protective energy. What else do we have here for the outcome? Five of coins, not a good combination, guys. Guys and gals, not a good combination. Feeling left out in the cold, not speaking. The death card, okay. I don't even know how that could happen with all of these cards. So now we have to get into a very, very complicated um, energy here because this clearly, what both of you are feeling about one another is not what's happening in the relationship. Now, let's go ahead and clarify these because this just became very murky. All right, so the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles energy is the energy of making a small offer, being very practical. It's sometimes a child. So what? tell us something about this page of coins energy, the world card. So you do think the world of each other. The world card can be finishing out a cycle in which you've had the end of a relationship. You might both be coming through a painful situation in which you were both cheated upon by other people. The outcome, the outcome says that you're not talking, that things have ended, that there's been some sort of subterfuge. I think it's going to be related to the Fool card. But the world card says that both of you want this relationship. You want to go to the next level. And spirit is actually giving you quite a nice uh, energy. Tell us about what is closing out here. What does this world card represent? Mother of Pentacles. Okay, that's Queen of Pentacles energy. 
We have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the three of the Queen of Cups. So we have three queens on the table here. So somebody may be on a dating site. They may still have their their dating app open. The Empress card. Oh boy. Okay, that's a lot of women. So somebody here is not being honest. That's the absolute truth of the matter. We also have the devil card, okay. So hidden in this energy is someone who is willing to be very selfish, to be very uh, sneaky, very selfish. Six of cups to have a reunion is the reason. They see there's somebody here who is very bent on you know, their love, that Scorpio energy. This is Scorpio energy. Two of Cups. Okay, so I think that somebody has not admitted that they're married. Somebody here in this equation is married. That's what I'm getting. And all of these females here are would be, to me, somebody who's on a dating site, somebody who's not being honest, somebody who is a hit it and quit it type of person. I'm getting the daughter. This is really sad. I thought this was going to be such a great reading, but um, I get the daughter of wands. So now we have the page of wands. Somebody who's immature, there could be an age difference. So I would say that for those of you Sagittarius who are dealing with an age difference, I would say that, that, that you're the person who is being or feeling deceived. You don't see this coming, right? You're foolishly jumping in and taking somebody at their word for who they are. All right. Tell us more about the snaky seven of swords. Mother of cups. Okay. Cancer queen again. So the cancer queen is oftentimes mother and wife. Two of cups, six of wands. Okay. I think I'm getting, I think I'm beginning to understand here what's happening. So we get now, we get the Son of Cups. So we do get a romantic offer coming in. Okay, so the way I'm reading this, and I'm going to read it, you know, this is a storyline that I think that Sagittarius, you're coming into this wanting the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Let's see what that's about. Eight of Coins. You're willing to work on something. It's Virgo energy, but only if your person is there with you and only if they make you an offer. Only if you can find them to be grounded and real and honest. And the Son of Pentacles, you're willing to go slowly into this. Why do we have the Ace of Wands? Three of Swords, okay. So what I'm getting here too is that I think that the storylines I've already mentioned is possible. You do want a new beginning with somebody with whom you've had a heartache. So you might be, you might, I feel as though you know that you've been in a third party situation, whether you're a spouse, whether there has been a cheating partner, or whether you are a third party who is willing to wait while someone goes back and works on a marriage. You see this person as your person. You do want a new beginning with them. You might have been the third party in which somebody was sneaky, in which they uh, maybe have now have left you and gone back to try to get a victory in this relationship. The Daughter of Pentacles is you, the Page of Pentacles, you trying to be very practical. I would say that you have a willingness to some degree to wait for this person. The Magician card can also be something that's hidden. And what's hidden here could be a wife. And that's what I'm seeing here. The repetition is it looks like you are or were in the process of a third party situation. And somebody has decided to go back and try to make it work with a wife or a mother of their children, a reunion after a deceptive relationship in which their person said, look it, if you don't stop this, you know, if you don't come back and make this work within our marriage, I'm going to leave you in the cold. They have some worries that are financial. When we get the death card, we get the son of cups. So that is your person. The daughter of wands. There's a lot of child energy here, which is the one of the best reasons to try to make a marriage work, even if it doesn't feel happy to you. But the son of cups is that 
the Page of Wands, your person is not going to give up on you. It looks like they are going through a period of transformation. We can see that right here, the power of the dragon and manifesting dreams. But I feel very much that for most of you, you're in a situation that you have, you are the third party, you know you're the third party, you feel like this could be very soulmate or twin flame. What else? Temperance card. So you're willing to take them back. That's your energy, Sag. So this could be any level or any timing-wise. This could be different places in this story for different people. The Magician card. Let's see. What do we have here? Five of Coins. Okay. So your person's trying to manifest you, but they realize that Five of Coins twice, that they're very sad because they feel as though they've created a time in your relationship with that you cannot see each other tell us something else king of swords queen of swords you're on the same page you've spoken about this you've talked about it your person is not happy about trying to go back seven of wands they feel very guarded very defensive about the situation that they're in they feel like a lot of pain here the Sun card, what about this? The Hanged Man. They feel as though they have to put a pause on your relationship and the happiness that they share with you in this relationship. Three of Coins reversed. Um, your person wants, they don't want to juggle anything, including, I think you might work together, so that might be the issue there. It looks as though they're taking a hiatus of some sort from the the enjoyment of having you in their life. Yeah, permit card. So this looks like it's agreed upon. It looks like this is a conversation that's happened. I don't think that it happened right away. I, I think this person dragged their feet in telling you. I feel as though, but you know, I'm not getting the tower card. I'm not getting cards that indicate that you're shocked by this. Yeah, the moon card. No, you have clarity about it. So it does look like this something is something that's been discussed. Five of Cups, you will miss each other. So I'm really seeing that as your reading, Sagittarius. Uh, take it, you know, it is just a, a week-long reading. So come back next week and see if there's some improvement here. But if that's not your story, let me know in the comments below. If it is your story, do the same. Sending you love from Chicago, and I hope you send me some love back. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.